Hey, buddy. You want to get that Foxhound rank trophy for Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater? Don't worry, I got you. The Foxhound rank in Metal Gear Solid 3 is straightforward. Unlike Metal Gear Solid 2, you do not need to do anything special. The requirements needed to achieve Foxhound rank are as follows. You need to beat the game at Extreme or European Extreme difficulty in less than 5 hours with zero continues, zero alerts, zero kills, zero life medicine used, and a maximum of 25 saves. Thankfully, unlike Metal Gear Solid 2, we have a generous amount of saves here, and we're gonna take advantage of it before doing any areas filled with enemies and before each boss fight. Also, if you choose I like MGS3, the difficulty for Extreme and European Extreme will be unlocked from the get-go. You do not need to beat the game in order to unlock them, just like Metal Gear Solid 2. Plus, you will get an extra camouflages and face paints with one specific camouflage that we will need later in the playthrough, which is the OS Cam. It is a camouflage that grants you 33% damage reduction, which will help quite a lot during the bike escape sequence. So, if this is your first playthrough, you can play on Extreme or European Extreme immediately. However, even with that, just like Metal Gear Solid 2, I expect you to know how to play the game and you are very well and knowledgeable with its mechanics. All I'm going to do here is just showing you the way and it's up to you to follow it however you like. As for the difficulty here, we are going to play with European Extreme. Extreme and European Extreme in Metal Gear Solid 3 are exactly the same thing, from enemy density, to their visions, to the boss's health, and Snake's health as well. There are no differences whatsoever between the two difficulty, with the exception of one difference. In European Extreme, if you get spotted, it is game over. Where in Extreme, you will get an alert and the enemy will attack you. And since we are going for Foxhound rank, which requires you to get zero alerts, we will be playing on European Extreme, so if you get spotted, you will get a game over and then you can exit immediately and try again. It will make things faster for you during your Foxhound playthrough. So let's not waste any more time and let's start. Select a new game, I like MGS3, European Extreme, and let's go. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Jack? Just as we did in Metal Gear Solid 2, we're gonna skip cutscenes and Kodak calls. Go underneath the log here. And climb the tree in front of you. There's one thing that I forgot to mention here. There are two types of camera that you can use in Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. There is the original Snake Eater camera, which is a fixed camera, and then you have the subsistence camera, which is a free camera that you can control. It's up to you to choose whatever camera that you want to use. So here there are alligators that you can go underneath it. You can shoot this one, and then roll into the swamp and continue forward. By doing so, this will delay the attack of the alligator and allow you to go and cross safely. There are some enemies here that we need to take down. Shoot the first one here, then continue forward. This soldier, you want to shoot and roll to knock him over. By shooting and doing, this will instantly knock him over and you can continue safely. Shoot the other one, then continue to the next area. In this area, shoot the beehive. And wait for a little bit. 
the hornets will end up attacking the soldiers and will clear the entire area. Follow what I'm doing right here. So for Razvat, there are three soldiers that we need to take down at the beginning of the area. The first one is here. Shoot it. Then shoot the one on top of the building, the second floor. You do not need to get a headshot, just sh do some body shots. You want to shoot these soldiers as fast as possible before they can call in for a backup. Then continue forward into the structure. There will be one more soldier coming up soon. Shoot him, then go and meet Sokolov. After a few cutscenes, there will be a part where you need to heal Snake. Heal Snake and then finish the Virtuous Mission part. After that, the game is going to prompt you to save. Do not do so. We are going to save in a little bit. Now open your codec and call paramedic and save. This will be our first save. So right here is going to be a tricky area. Do what I do here. Roll right now before the tree. Equip the stun grenade. Hug the right side after this tree. Then start cooking the grenade by holding the square button. By doing so, you will silence your footsteps, allowing you to cross that soldier without hearing your footsteps at all. Then head to the next area. So this is a tricky area as well. Move, crawl, and move forward. Notice the soldier on the left side. You want to wait for that soldier to move to the left. Right now. Then press X. The other soldier is going to notice you. Slide down and wait for him to move forward slightly. Then cross the bridge. Movement is key here, especially at the beginning. If you want to make a save file for this area alone, you can do that. Pick up the box right here. And after that, continue through the game.
save at this part. For Ocelot unit, go to your pack pack, unequip the Survival Knight and the Directional Mic, and then equip the Mark 22. First things first, shoot this guard in the head. Climb on top of the bed, shoot the other one, then go underneath the bed. You want to do this really, really fast. Equip the stun grenade, start cooking it, wait for the door to open, throw it, look up. Equip your Mark 22, shoot the other guard. Then exit. Right here you want to tiptoe and shoot the other guard from far away. You do not need to get a headshot. Shoot him twice in the body will suffice. Exit. Tiptoe right here. Shoot the other guard as well. There will be another guard here. Shoot him. The last guard will be on the rooftop. You want to locate where he is. Sometimes he's going to be on the far right or far left. In this video, he's actually behind the tree. So shoot him. Like I said, you do not need to get a headshot. Just body shots. Three body shots will do. And there you go. That's the Ocelot unit. There will be a soldier that we need to search his body so we can pick up the silencer ammo. This particular soldier. Pick it up. And then leave. Trigger to cutscene. After that, we're going to continue through the game. Pick up the bug juice. Open your pack pack. Unequip the cigar, the binocular, and equip the cardboard box on the bug juice. Use the bug juice here, and then swim through the lake. The reason why you want to use the bug juice here is so you can prevent any leeches from leeching on you. If one of the leeches leeches or latches on you, they will drain stamina from you, and you do not want to get your stamina drained this early. Follow the route that I'm actually taking, and pick up the grenade and the Mark 22 bullet ammo. Equip the box as a backup item here. So right here, this is another tricky area, so call paramedic and save. This area is a little bit problematic, to be honest. There's a lot of dogs and guards roaming the area. First things first, go underneath this electric barbed wire. Then hug the right side. There are mines on the way, by the way. Then go to the tree and climb it. Take one step to the right, aim, and shoot the ground next to the dog. Do not shoot the dog. By doing this, the dogs will bark, and then they will alert and grab the attention of the guard on the other side. Equip the Mark 22 and continue forward. There are three soldiers that you want to take down. Take the middle one first, then the left, then the right. There will be another dog coming up soon. Shoot it. Then continue to the next area. You want to stay on the left side of this area as there are guards. There's a lot of guards in the middle of the area here. Shoot the guard in front of you. Equip the pistol. 
Now shoot the barrels. The right barrel, then the front barrel. This will kill the two guards close to it, allowing you a safe passage. And don't worry, this will not count as a kill, because the explosion killed them, not you. So for Ocelot, call paramedic and safe. So the Ocelot fight is all about distraction. I'm going to show you the fight at full speed. And you want to do the same sequence of inputs like I do here. Don't worry, I'm going to show you the fight at half speed and I'm going to explain what you need to do. So here's what you need to do. Equip the Mark 22, remove its suppressor, and shoot Ocelot immediately. Equip the stun grenade after you shoot him and throw it immediately as well. Equip the Mark 22, look behind, turn around, and shoot Ocelot in the head. The reason why you want to look behind so you do not end up getting blinded by the stun. Equip the stun, throw another one, equip the pistol, not the Mark 22, look behind. Turn around and shoot the goat, this one. Equip the Mark 22, shoot Ocelot in the head. If you miss and end up shooting his arm, that's completely fine. Ocelot is going to notice the goat, shoot his head, shoot his head again. He's going to position himself to the left side. Don't worry if he gets shot. And shoot him and finish the fight. This fight is a little bit tricky, so practice it as much as you want. Pick up the animal camouflage. You need to pick that up. It is vital to the playthrough. After that, continue through the caves and follow the way that I'm taking. Pick up everything here, which include the smoke grenade, the Mark 22 bullet, and the pistol ammo. Go to your backpack, equip the grenade and the smoke grenade. We're gonna need those for this boss fight, the pain. Like always, call paramedic and save. The fight against the pain is not that hard, but you need to follow what I do perfectly. At the beginning of the fight, equip the smoke grenade and throw it at pain. Then equip the Mark 22 and you want to aim as his chin. That's where his hitbox is. After a couple of shots, he's going to armor up. Use the regular grenade at him. Then continue shooting at him. Shoot at his head. And that's phase one. For phase two, equip the grenade, the regular grenade. Throw it at him. And continue doing the same thing as we did. Keep in mind, it's tricky to aim at his head. So aim at his chin. And that's the pain. The fight itself is not hard. However, the tricky part about that fight is trying to aim and shoot his head. He waves his head right and left. So what do you want to do? You want to aim at his chin. This is where you get like the most amount of shots against him. If he armors up again, use a smoke grenade or a regular grenade and continue the fight. If not, and everything goes really south, just game over and load a save file again. And from here, we're going to continue through the game.
here there is a lot of flying jetpacks that you want to avoid. So we're going to swim. You want to be at 19% camo index, which is located in the top right side of the screen. Notice the light on the water. Once you reach to this position, you want to go to the right slightly, then go back. Then continue swimming. And you want to stand right here to catch a little bit of air before you can continue. Then continue forward. Right here, equip the Mark 22 and shoot the guard in front of you. Then switch to the regular pistol, shoot the two barrels right there. This will damage the end, plus it will take down every soldier in the entire area. Make sure to pick up the extra ammo here, which include the stun grenade, the Mark 22 bullets, and the smoke grenade and head to the next area. So here we're gonna make another save file because this is another tricky area. So there are two ways you can do this area and they are based on what kind of role you end up doing on top of these crates right here. If you end up with this type of roll, shoot the barrel, then continue forward. Equip the box. This will allow you to climb the stairs really fast compared to the regular way of climbing the stairs. CQC this guard, and then exit and continue forward. This is the first way of doing so. However, if you ended up getting the other type of roll, and this is pretty much based on several situations like physics and whatnot, so if you roll here and you end up on the left side of the crates, wait right here, then continue forward. Climb the stairs, seek you see this guy, put your back behind the wall, knock, then continue climbing to the top. Seek you see this guy, and continue forward. Like I said, the warehouse area is based on what kind of roll you end up getting, whether you end up landing in front of the crates or to the left side of the crate. This is why I told you to make a save file because it's actually really, really tricky and there's a lot of variables and RNG pretty much involved in this area. You want to roll here. There's a wire, as you notice, which is a trap. You do not want to trigger that trap. Keep that in mind. Now we are outside the lab. Uh, there's a soldier and a dog right here. You want to take down the soldier so go all the way left to the street and aim at the soldier's head. Shoot him, then continue forward. The barbed wire here is electrified, so be careful. Right here, you want to remove the suppressor from your pistol, the Mark 22. Run all the way until you make it to the second pillar. Once you reach it, open your menu to the camouflage and equip the scientist uniform. After you do so, you want to enter the facility as fast as possible. If you are too late, the guard will arrest you and they will put you in a cell inside of the facility. And follow the route that I'm taking here.
So, in this area, you want to bump into the scientist in front of you because if you do not do so, you will get an alert and then game over. The scientist will recognize that you are not one of them. So, by bumping him, you will delay him noticing you. This will give you a safe passage into the office where Granin is located. And after that, safe. And we're going to do the same exact thing as we did earlier when we exiting. So go to the scientist and bump into him. Then stay on the left side of the offices. There's another scientist, as you guys just saw him. If you're too close, he's going to see you, and then he will get an alert and game over. Pick up the cigar gas spray here, and then we're pretty much done with the facility, so we're going to exit it. So yeah, bumping into that scientist is very important. Scientists can recognize that Snake is not one of them, and then they will alert the facility and you will get game over so keep that in mind now we're gonna exit all the way and continue through the playthrough Right here, go to your camouflage and equip the animal uniform, the one that we got after defeating Ocelot, non-lethally. Then exit the area. Here, you want to shoot your pistol without suppressor to make some noise. You will get into a caution. Go underneath the barbed wire, equip the suppressor in your Mark 22 pistol, you want to shoot this guard. Shoot him twice on his body. He's going to fall asleep. Equip the stun grenade and head to the next area and into the next boss fight, which is the fear. Call paramedic and save. So, follow my steps right here. Roll underneath the trap, put your back behind next to the tree, use the fake death pill, and wait for the fear to get closer. Wait for him to move forward, then use the revival pill, throw a stun grenade, trigger the trap, And that's the fear. If you do not get the kill, load a save file and try again. Now open your pack pack, equip the cigar gas spray, and cure yourself from the poison and the arrow in your knee. Equip the box as a backup and your Mark 22. Also, do not forget to pick up the spider camouflage, which you will get by defeating the fear non-lethally, as we're going to need it later into the run. So we're going to go back all the way to the warehouse. So follow what I do here perfectly. By using the box, move towards. You will grab the attention of the guard on the second floor, then drop down all the way on top of this guard. Then look to the wall, shoot at it. You will grab the attention of the other guard. This guard is going to turn around, sneak behind him, shoot him, knock him over. Equip the box. Then continue forward, go through the door and exit the area. This sequence is a little bit tricky, so practice it as much as you can. Have a safe file for it if you want to, because the movement is very specific. So here we're going to make another save file. Uh, this save file is going to be for the end boss fight. Keep in mind, you cannot save during the end fight. So save here. Now, after that, you want to equip the cigar gas spray and follow the route that I'm actually taking here. Do as I do in this video. There will be a bunch of soldiers that we're going to have to take down with the cigar gas spray. This is going to be the first soldier. Smoke him. Now, hug the left side. 
the other soldier is going to notice someone. He's going to get closer. Wait for him to get closer to you. Then smoke him. Continue forward. There will be two more soldiers to take down. So follow what I do right here. Smoke this guy. And here's the final one. Smoke him. And there you go. And now we're going to go and fight the end. So now for the end. Here's what you're going to do. Equip the smoke grenade. Start cooking it and throw it once you reach this tree to this position. Then move forward. What we're going to do, we need to sneak behind the end. Follow the route that I'm taking here. Now we have made it to where the end is. Cook a grenade to silence your footsteps, approach him, and then equip your cigar gas spray. Smoke him, then equip the pistol, freeze him. Now wait for him to put his hand onto the floor, smoke him again, equip the stun grenade, throw the stun grenade, look up. You want to hit him with the grenade itself. Smoke him again, equip another stun grenade. You want to hit him with the grenade itself. Look up, smoke him again, use the smoke grenade, hit him, wait for Snake to cough twice, then smoke, and there you go. Now you want to position yourself next to this tree, smoke, punch him twice, smoke him, and that's the end. This fight is execution heavy, so practice it as much as you want. After that, pick up the Mosin Nagant and continue through the playthrough. Like I said, the issue with the end is that it is an execution heavy fight and you need to follow the sequence that I did against him. The most important thing is you want to keep him on stun lock. Once he escaped the stun, he will run away. So this is why it's really important to hit him with the grenade itself to keep him on stun lock. And that's pretty much it with the fight itself, so practice it as much as you want. And that's it for this video. That's part one. Thank you guys very much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And comment below on any question that you have in regarding of this part. And I'll see you guys in part two. Peace, everyone.